Hi, this is Melissa. And this is Sherry. And we are here to introduce a new kit that we've been working on for the past couple months. Actually, we've had the kit done for a little while, um, but we wanted to do this video. And it looks like we both have time to get it done, so here we are. Here we are. The first thing, um, I told Sherry about this book that I have. It is a very old date book um, from the early 1900s, and I absolutely love it. Um, I have had it for a long time, and I didn't know what I was going to do with it. So um, I decided that I was going to go ahead and try to scan it in. Sherry and I talked, and we decided we wanted to go ahead and do a kit together. And this was before we did the Mushroom Melody kit with the group. Uh, so you can tell it's been a little while in, yeah, the, it's been in, a while. in the makings. Yes, I'm mostly my fault. It, it is mostly my no, fault. No. Um, so anyway, so here is this uh, amazing book, and it is, it is beat to heck. There are pencil marks and dirt, and it's just in all of its loveliness. It is about 12 inches long and about 6 inches wide, and it's got about an inch spine. And this person used it, ooh, blank pages. This per person used it for their accounting over uh, quite a few years. So, um, on to our kit. Both Sherry and I did a portion, and uh, I showed her the book and um, then created the digital for the cover. This is smaller. Uh, so right now we have about eight inches, I think it's eight and a quarter, no, it's a little over eight inches by eight and a quarter wide. That's without the spine. With the spine, um, which Sherry can't see what I'm showing, I'm showing the, the cover that doesn't have the spine attached to the covers, it's over on the side. Okay. Then the other one is... Um, and then uh, a spine that I made a little bit larger, and that is about nine and three quarters total width and eight inches tall. So it's quite a bit smaller than the actual book, but it's more functional. All right, Sherry, I've gone and shown the cover. Would you like to go ahead and uh, go over some of your pages? Sure. <laughs> okay, this is the first page I did, and so you would know where to cut the line, the page out, since they're not full sheets. I left the cutting line. So this is some fairies. Did we say that we had fairies in our day book? We did not. We, we actually did not. We did not. We actually titled it uh, Fairy Day Book. Right. And so the artwork is uh, fairies, of course, and it's kind of odd because both of us kind of chose some of the same artwork. And we do a, think a lot alike as far as colors or whatever. Yeah. I created this background and added these images and uh, made the edges look like they were torn. And these are just music for journaling cards or bookmarks or tucks or whatever. And here's another page that I think is really pretty. It's got the fairy kind of in a meadow with our little lambs. And over here is a little fair, uh, fairy poem by W.B. Yeats and a little pocket that it can go in. Yeah, I love that page. And this page has a baby flying on a fairy. And I put some music behind that. I guess this is a bird. I'm not really quite sure if it's part bird, part fairy. Or what and there are fairies all around it and I put music behind that there's a couple of tags here do you want me to keep going or do you want to intervene with some of your pages um, I can I can go ahead and do some of my pages okay so we went over um, actually I will put the ephemera to the back okay and so the cover um, what I did was I took some of my tea stained 
and uh, scanned them in. There's a couple of them in here. And then created from that. I have a couple journaling cards here. Um, this is uh, my tea stain, and I added uh, an image to it. This is a scan of uh, one of the page sets. You can actually see where the sewing was. Um, I made a little belly band out of music paper and then a couple labels. Um, this one was a music sheet and some of my eco dyed paper. Um, I added butterflies and then a small journaling card with a Hans Christian Andersen poem. And I'll do one more. Uh, this was, again, another one of my tea stain, and I added some text onto it, and um, this image was actually a book cover, a vintage book cover, and little fairies with some bees, and this was an old piece of paper, and I put um, just a little fairy sitting on a flower there, and of course, Ex Libris, so you can have your book plate. Oops, that was an extra one. All right, then this again, these, this was an image of a tin tile and um, turned that into a page and added um, these images to it. And then we have a bunch of words that you can cut out, um, add to your journal. Oh, I'm now on to the ephemera, Sherry. Do you want to finish with your pages and your ephemera? page with some I think they're like um, for plays or I don't know I don't read other languages but anyway um, with some very colorful backgrounds and some lace a couple of butterflies and some uh, ornate shapes on the side there's a couple of tag or a tag with a pocket and two butterflies I've noticed that a lot of people don't put the tags that are made with the pockets, but that's usually, I usually try to cut it off so that it fits there, mm -hmm. but you can use it as you like, I guess. I kind of like this one. It's kind of a little eerie. I yeah. think majestic, maybe. I don't know. The fairies, you see their images, but it's almost like you can see through them. So I created the background for this. And then this is a little poem that came out of um, a children's book, and I do not know which one it was. And here's a, they're both journaling cards. This one has dragonflies and a but or a dragonfly and a butterfly, and kind of like a marsh area with some lily pads. And this page has like some what do you call those? The inside page of a book. I don't know. And a couple of fairies, they're both sort of sleeping, although this one has some really creepy eyes. I don't know why I chose her, but I just like the image because you can kind of see through it. Yeah. And I put some sheet music behind that, and I made some tickets and some uh, flowers that you can fussy cut out and mm -hmm. a couple of little postage stamp type things. Yeah. Do you want me to continue, or do you yeah, want no. to go more pages? I no, think, I think I I went through all my pages. The rest is uh, my my ephemera. Well, I think that's basically what this is. There was a full page of just the background that you could use to cut out to put on tags or whatever. Mm -hmm. um, I made it the full page so there'd be extra. Right. And then this was just another page. It was that cute little fairy. She's kind of leaning down, but I had cropped her out of whatever image she was in. There's a poem called The Fairy Dance, which will be um, a journaling card. And it's by Katherine Davis. And here's a couple more. I just love little baby fairies or little kid fairies. These are, to me, it reminds me of those swans that, pedal boats that look like swans in the pond that you can right. wait and go out on for the day. I've actually but, been on one of those. <laughs> have you? I, yeah. know, I think they're so cool though. I yeah. haven't been on one. But I, that's at night time, but I think um, that's what it reminds me of. But I just love the little fairy children. And then the last page of mine is a large tag with that same lullaby and the same 
This was a small, these were both smaller cards. And here's a Fairy's Child by Robert Graves. And here's some corner tuck spots, and they're rounded. I didn't square them off, and they've got the little tabs, so you can fold it under. It actually gives it like a gusset kind of thing. Yeah. So there's more room to tuck whatever you want into it. And here's a little uh, blurb that says, Nothing can be truer than fairy wisdom. It is as true as sunbeams. And that was Douglas Gerard. Gerard. And I think that's it. Okay. I added a few little flowers and a few little birds to it just to add color and... That's, that's the end of that. But. All right. And then all that's left is the um, ephemera that, ephemera. Yep, that I did. Mm -hmm. And um, I have uh, one, actually two tags, a uh, couple journaling spots. This actually was a topper that uh, I had made quite a while ago, and I absolutely love it. And I thought that it fit really well into our journal. So I went ahead and scanned it in. Uh, this is a, a vintage doily that I had scanned in previously. Um, a ticket. Uh, this is, uh, let's see if I can show you, uh, January, February, March, April, you know, the months, and then um, the days, and you can write the date or the year or whatever. These are to put on special pages, you know, for the date. Uh, just cut those out and slap them on a page, however you want to do it. It is a day book. It is a day book. That is correct. Yep, there you go. That's correct. Fairies have to record their days. Um, I made a few um, uh, the banner flags uh, to you could use create uh, 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 paper. What are those called? Altered paper clips. Um, uh, you can put them together and then put them over a page and uh, use it as a marker. Um, these are tickets that I have tea stained and I went ahead and scanned it in. This is an envelope that I created, uh, just a stamp and um, that flower image again. Um, this was, um, I believe this was from Graphics Fairy, the actual old paper and this um, almanac was from Graphics Fairy. Mm -hmm. And then I have a couple file folders. So you can cut those out. Um, I made only one one for the center and one right or left, how, however you want to look at it. A couple circles, uh, you can use those as tuck spots or pockets or just decoration. A few washi tape. And then this one was the last page, um, actual page page. Um, I used that almanac again and a small image with a, um, a young fairy boy and a bird. And I think this was this, this image might be Walter Crane. I'd have to look that back up again. But it was also um, a graphics fairy. And just another butterfly to fussy cut. And that is it. That is our kit. So we are e more. Huh? And what do we do next? What well, well, I think I think what we're going to do is um, we're going to make our books. Okay. So let's. Do you want to leave it up to everybody else to see if they want us to do the same together, or each of us do separate, or what do you want to do? Do we could kind of do together. Okay. Yeah, I think and so. Maybe not make them exactly the same. Well, the 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 covers will be relatively the same. That's yeah. for sure. Um. Yeah. Okay. Because you'll have different pages, like ledger paper, and you know all that fun well, stuff. Well, no, we all have the same thing, uh, but we won't use them probably in the same order. I wouldn't think. I don't know. Well, we can do this. The first two the same. Okay. You know, I mean, as close as we can get it to be in the same. And then we have others that you and I are going to make. And then we can take it a step further and just do whatever we want. Okay. Well, and then eventually well, it'll be offered to the public. Yeah. So what they, they we, we skipped a step. What they don't know, yeah, is that we have created um, kits of, right. of papers and... Uh, um, 
What else is in there? Yeah. Fabrics. Fabric. Yeah, it's just a little bit of everything. Anything you would need to create a junk journal. And we're going to go through those kits. Um, I believe there's 30 total. Sherry has 15 of them. I have 15. Right. Um, we are going to, her and I each are going to make five books. So what she was referring to, um, the first two books uh, that we want, will make similar is that um, the first of those five so I will, her and I will make one each, and then we have four others that we can create however we want. Those will be put up in our Etsy sale, our Etsy store for sale, mm -hmm. along with the uh, physical kit and the digital kit. Right. Okay. Was there anything else we needed to let them know? think so. Are we going to offer the kit by the digital kit alone or will it yes. all be? Yeah, no, they can, yeah, they'll be able to purchase the kit um, separately if they like. Uh -huh. um, and if they choose, they can also get the kit. Now, uh, when Sherry and I put the kit together, um, we went through all of our stuff and made right. sure that we had the same of everything. So we have 30 actual um, bundles of stuff and we're, I think we're going to go through that and and uh, show you along the way as we use it and when everything is up on the website you'll have the videos to refer to all that fun stuff and it's full it's a full kit. I mean, oh my gosh. Lots of stuff yeah. Right now. I mean, use it all, but it's full. There's... You could probably make three or four journals out of the oh, stuff sure. that we put in there without adding anything to it. Right. Exactly. So, yeah, it's so. going to be fun. I think so. Okay. It took us a while to get it all together, but I think we probably <laughs> did it, and I think we did a good job. Yeah. Yeah, I absolutely love it. All right. So, um, you are welcome to contact us if you have any questions. Um, we are going to be, uh, again, doing a video of the two of us putting the book together. Um, it will be the same. She, her and I both will be doing the same um, version, I guess. Right. Mm -hmm. And then from there, we'll, we'll go our, our separates and do videos on the additional books. So we will have five completed books up for sale in our Etsy. We will have the digital kit, which actually I'm... I, you want to go ahead and put the digital kit up there, um, say, tomorrow? Or do you want to wait until we have the uh, physical kit listed? Yeah, let's wait. We'll wait until we have the physical okay. kit listed. And then that, because if okay. they're going to be able to purchase the physical kit, they'll get the, if they want, the other, because okay. that'll be a whole different price with the physical kit and the digital kit they'll get the link to the digital kit. Um, right? Yeah, I, I was going to keep them separate. We are going to keep them separate? Yeah, I think okay. so. I think All so. All right, well. Now, um, they, I also have to note, um, it is not an option for us to print this. Exactly. Yeah, we, we will not be printing it. But you can download it, and you can take it to your local office supply place. Yes. If you do not have a printer, um, they are happy to print for you and I believe they even give you a, a selection of papers to choose from so oh. okay I don't know about the papers but I know about the printing that's a good idea yeah so yeah okay then so yeah that, we could list it I mean we just have to um do the pages for the you know get the files ready for the Etsy yeah yeah of other course. than that I mean I think I mean we've got all of our pages so that's no big deal so, so I think we can list the kit. Um, what What is today? Today is Monday. Uh -huh. um, on Friday. Okay. Friday afternoon. No, you want well, going away Friday. Oh. So. Um, All right. Well, then you pick a day. And then I've got. Well, we can. It'll be sometime. I can, I can probably get it done before Friday. It'll be so sometime yes. this week. Well, you won't. Yes. I'll go ahead and shoot all the images for the stuff. 
Okay. You don't have to worry about that. I'll do that. Okay. And then I'll get you the files. So, um, All right. So at some point this week, um, between Wednesday and Friday, we will have it listed. Um, this video hopefully will be up tomorrow, which is Tuesday. Mm-hmm. And uh, that's it. Okay. Hopefully we did it right and everybody will see us and I hope whatever. so. And well, I hope I left out some of my ums. Um, I, pr um, um, I probably didn't. <laughs> I, I, I keep telling myself, stop saying um, stop saying um. <laughs> okay, um, what's next? <laughs> but, well. All right. Well, and that's great. And uh, we'll talk to everybody later, I guess. Yep. Yeah, enjoy your evening or day, whichever it may be. And exactly. until the next video, see you later. See you later. Bye-bye.